So in this video, if i n is equal to the integral between 0 and 2 of x dn e to the 4x dx, show that i n, the reduction formula, is 2, n, 2 to the n minus 2, e to the 8, take away n over 4, i n minus 1, and then hence find the integral between 0 and 2 of x cubed e to the 4x dx. So once we've done that bit there, we can do that bit. OK, so first things first, we're going to show this part. So we're going to use integration by parts. So u is going to be equal to x to the n, and dv by dx is going to be equal to e to the 4x. So du by dx is n x to the n minus 1, and v will be 1 quarter e to the 4x. So i n is going to be equal to u times v. So um, remember, we've got the limits here as well. So we've got 1 quarter x to the n e to the 4x, evaluated between 0 and 2. Take away uh, the integral of v times du by dx. So 1 quarter uh, n x to the n minus 1 e to the 4x dx evaluated between 0 and 2. Now, at this stage, because n is just a constant, and the quarter is as well, we can pull both of those out of the integral and have it like this. OK, uh, because then this bit here is i n minus 1. So we can immediately use that. So substituting in the 2 here, we're going to have uh, 1 quarter times 2 to the n e to the 4x, uh, e to the 4x, which is 8. Just move like that. e to the 8. Then substituting in 0, we're going to get 0. So it's just going to be that. So take away 1 quarter n i n minus 1. Now, 4 is 2 squared, so i n is equal to um, 2 to the minus 2 times 2 to the n, e to the 8, take away 1 quarter n, i n minus 1. So i n is equal to 2 to the n minus 2, e to the 8, take away 1 quarter n, i n minus 1, as required, okay? Perfect. Now I could write, I can rewrite that as n over four if you like, just so it's in exactly the same form. There we are. Okay, so now, hence find the integral between zero and two of x cubed e to the four x dx, so n is three. So we're looking at i three here. So i3, substituting in, we're going to have 2 to the power of 3 take away 2, which is 2 to the power of 1. So we'll have 2 e to the 8 take away. Then we've got 3 quarters of i2. OK. So that's equal to 2 e to the 8, take away 3 quarters of, now substitute again, n is 2. We're going to get 2 to the power of 2, take away 2, so 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. So we just get e to the 8. Then take away 2 over 4, so a half of i1. Right, we'll simplify this, so 2 e to the 8, take away 3 quarters e to the 8, plus... 3 eighths i1. And of course, we could simplify that already, couldn't we? So uh, 2 take away 3 quarters is 5 quarters e to the 8 plus 3 eighths of i1. Now, i1, substituting in n is 1 here, we're going to get uh, 2 to the power of n minus 2, so 2 to the power of 1 take away 2, so 2 to the power of minus 1 which is a half of e to the 8, take away 1 quarter of i0. Right, so let's 
keep simplifying, 5 quarters e to the 8th, e to the 8th rather, plus uh, 3 sixteenths e to the 8th, then take away 3 uh, 8 sixteenths, 32 i0. So let's work out the 5 quarters plus 3 sixteenths first, which is 23 sixteenths e to the 8th. And then we've got take away 3 over 32 times i0. Okay, now it would be very tempting to put 0 as n back in to our reduction formulae. Okay, and we would get 2 to the minus 2 e to the 8 take away 0. And then we would have no more reduction formulae to use, and that would be our answer. But that's not quite right. And the problem with this is that this reduction formulae um, only works up to a certain point. When it gets up to i0, we're actually looking at the integral x to the 0, e to the 4x. So just the integral of e to the 4x. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll look at just the integral between 0 and 2 of e to the 4x dx. Okay, and you'll be able to see why this wasn't going to work. So 23 over 16, e to the 8, take away 3 over 32, times by, the integral of this is 1 quarter, e to the 4x, evaluated between 0 and 2. Now, I was going to substitute n is 0 into this, and I was going to get 2 to the minus 2, which is 1 quarter, which is that one there, Okay, substituting in the 2. e to the 8, right, substituting in the 2. Great, that would get me that term. Take away 0. But if you substitute 0 into this, you don't get 0. You get a quarter e to the 0, so just a quarter. So you actually get another term that the reduction formulae couldn't account for. So it only works up until you get to i0 when this integral should be simple enough for you to be able to integrate it directly. So, this is going to be 23 sixteenths e to the 8. Take away, so 3 over 32 uh, times a quarter is 3 over 128 uh, e to the 8. And substituting the 0, so we'd have minus a quarter times the minus 3 over 32. Oh, so plus 3 over 128. So our final answer should be 23 over 16. Take away 3 over 128. So 181 over 128. E to the 8 plus 3 over 128. And so that is the exact result I'm looking for.